Hi, Algebra 2. In this video, we'll be going over the problem shown on the screen. So we're going to subtract and also simplify. Let's start off by factoring the denominator in this first fraction here. So it's a regular quadratic. So we're looking for two numbers or factors that add to 9 and also multiply to 14. And those are going to be nine, and, uh, 7 and 2. So I'm going to copy down that first fraction. And when I factor out the denominator, I'm going to get x plus 7 and x plus 2. So these are my two factors uh, for that denominator. And then I'm going to copy down the second fraction. Okay, and now what I can do is I, now that everything is factored, um, I can figure out what my least common denominator is. So I know my least common denominator has to have an x plus 7, and the least common denominator also has to have an x plus 2. So the first fraction has both. It's already got the least common denominator in there. The second fraction, however, is missing the x plus 2. So I'm going to multiply the numerator and denominator by x plus 2. All right, let's go ahead and start simplifying. So I can write this as x minus 8 all over x plus 7, x plus 2 minus 3 times x plus 2 all over the least common denominator. Okay, all right, now I'm going to write this as one fraction. So I'm going to write this as x minus 8 minus 3 times x plus 2 all over x plus 7 times x plus 2. All right, now to start simplifying, I want to distribute that negative 3. Um, so I'm just going to turn that into a negative, and I'm going to distribute that into the parentheses right here. So I end up with x minus 8 minus 3x minus 6 all over x plus 7 x plus 2. All right, now I can combine like terms. So I have an x minus 3x, and then I also have a negative 8 uh, minus 6. So let's see, x minus 3x is going to be negative 2x, so I have negative 2x, and then negative 8 minus 6 is going to be negative 14 all over x plus 7 times x plus 2. All right, and then we are almost done here. So what I can do is now we want to make sure that we simplify. So in the numerator, I notice that I can factor out um, a negative 2. So I'm going to rewrite this fraction. Actually, let me write this over here. So negative 2x minus negative 2x, I'm sorry minus 14 all over x plus 7 and then x plus 2. All right, we're going to divide the numerator, uh, both terms of those numerator, by negative 2. So when I factor that out, I end up with x plus 7, uh, negative 2 times x plus 7 all over x plus 7 times x plus 2. Now, to simplify, I notice that I have an x plus 7 in the numerator and denominator, so those are going to reduce to 1. And so my final answer is going to be negative 2 all over x plus 2. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and try some of the other review problems.